And I also want to mention for the uh, the creatives that are listening that are either considering stepping into the banking sector or thought about it but think it's a bad idea. And while we're on the topic, uh, there's there's a large myth around um, or stereotype around designers going into mm-hmm. the banking space and, you know, selling your soul to the bank, the big corporates, <laughs> because it's easier. And um, mm-hmm. we ha- also have this um, stereotype that there's not a lot of innovation required from a designer or creative working in the space. You don't have that much responsibility to innovate. Mm-hmm. And I want to say that that's true and that that's false. It's true if you, um, it is what you make of it. So um, mm-hmm. obviously it's a big organization and there's a lot that needs to be done. And as a creative resource, just like in any other company, you have to not just step through an open door, but you actually have to find the doors that you want to open. And that's very true if you're going to be working in the space as well. Uh, and myself and Alfie is, is living proof mm-hmm. of that. When we worked on the mobile banking app team, a large part of my year and a little bit there was on amazing concept work. And um, we did a lot of future vision, uh, very edgy, um, mm-hmm. what do you call it? Um idea breaking conceptual work. <laughs> <Your> conceptual, <laughs> conceptual work it you need to go and find it you need to find mm-hmm. the opportunities present it to your leaders take ownership mm-hmm. of those ideas to to be the innovator in that space otherwise yes it will just be a big boring organization to you mm-hmm. i think you're really right and i think especially for a person who hasn't worked in a small company i think that's that's a, it's an easy trap to fall into, into just sort of like doing, in some sense, almost like minimal necessary, and then feeling like, essentially, your soul is getting crushed. Yeah. Um, Because I think the thing that's different about a big company versus a smaller company or a startup is that in a big company, what is, in some sense, what is expected from you from a day-to-day is less. Like just, just simply the sheer quantity of work that you need to do. Um, and that's because there's a lot more people and there's a lot mm-hmm. more that's been ingrained into the system. Like there's there's been a lot more that's been turned into processes rather than yeah. the, like an individual person needing to be in charge of that. Yeah. Um, and so if you've never in some sense had to guide your own efforts, mm. it can be, it, it's easy to fall into that trap if you join a big company. But I think if you've, either had the opportunity to work in a smaller team or a smaller like kind of group where essentially in some sense, almost everybody has to do everything. Um, I think it's a little bit easier to step into the corporate space and not fall into the kind of like slower cycle. Um, and, and I think if you, if you actually do manage to do that, if you do manage to move into a corporate space, even if there are some people who tell you that, it's super slow, it's boring, and it's so, it, and all of that. Like, in some sense, you need to look at the person that's saying that and look at their situation and figure out, is the problem the situation or is the problem the person's approach to the yeah. situation? Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, there were a lot of people in the same team as me who, who didn't feel the way I did. There were people mm. in different departments, people in, in um, the same department but on different teams, that liked it and others that didn't. And so I think one of the things that I think doesn't get highlighted enough is the fact that there are good jobs and bad jobs out there, but it's also about what you make it. Yeah. Um, and especially in a corporate, I think that's the case because it's easy to fall into the, um, into kind of like the, yeah, the, the more relaxed, the, slow way yeah. to things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at me. You're like, there's more slower things. I'm like, the rut. <laughs> I think the, a, a rut actually is a good way to, to, to describe it because I think that's how they come about. 